All right, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Thought I'd throw a quick video together. We've got the Battlegrounds rewards have come in. It's going to give me enough shards to do a little bit of a crystal opening and not a very big one, but let's jump in and take a look and see how we did. So we'll scroll down here. First one up is going to be the Alliance event for Loki placed 25th overall. Really not too bad considering we weren't pushing. You know, it's also nice that looking there, almost two full tier six, almost two full tier two or a tier three alpha. Don't need a whole lot of them, but it is nice. It's going to help me do some more rank ups. We do have, you know, 25% of a tier six selector um, and then some other tier six shards as well that are random. So about 100% of a tier six overall when you add it all up. Just a couple of them are random. We'll see what we get with those as well. And then some tier five class catalysts. And I believe that is a tier five, 25 percenter as well. So overall, not too bad. We didn't push hard this season. Nice to finish 25th overall. So let's go ahead and claim these. And what I'm going to do is let's see, what are we lowest in that were you? Um, you know, we probably have a mutant coming before anything else. So we're going to go ahead and grab mutant there. Uh, the other ones will be random. We'll open those up here in just a second. And that did form me another mutant crystal, which is always good. Uh, here, um, we're going to go ahead and grab science, I think. Yep, we'll do one science, one skill. All right, there's the science taken care of. And now let's go ahead and grab that skill one, and that'll kind of equalize those out just a little bit. All right, now we're going to move on to the solo event. I ranked 2,540th. Once again, didn't really push better than I thought I was going to rank up. I do like this. There are 3,007 star shards, enough for another six star crystal. Only going to open those up when I need to have enough to open up another seven star. And then a bunch of sig stones, which always come in nice. I can always find a spot for some six star sig stones, although it's getting a little bit harder to, to find. And then our overall, you know, gladiator circuit rank, you know, not bad. 1,607th overall. Once again, didn't push real hard. That's about what I can expect and about where I want to finish up. So very, very pleased there. Do need to make sure I'm not going to go over on trophy tokens. I don't think I will, but I want to check real quick. Nope. We're in good shape there. I will take the 30,000 trophy tokens. Those will just go to more catalysts. So with that 4,000 right there, that is going to push us up to a seven star shard. Let's go ahead and claim or a seven star crystal. All right. So we now have claimed all the rewards. Let's jump into the crystals here real fast. Going to open up just a couple of the miscellaneous things that came with it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and grab these relics. Not expecting much. We're going to go ahead and just pop them open just in case we get something new. There's a dupe. So let's go ahead and convert that one if it wants to. There we go. Let's go ahead and grab the four star. We have two of these. And two. And we'll pop both those open. Okay, dupes once again. Kind of figure I'm only missing a couple here and there. And to be honest, not even sure exactly which ones I'm missing at what star level. Uh, and then we have a couple five-star relics that we can open up. And we'll just pop those as well. And more duplicates there. So uh, no new relics, which is fine. I don't, like I said, I'm only missing a couple at this point. It's nice that I see a couple of them are awakened. I do want to go open up that those tier six class catalysts real quick. And then we'll open up a seven-star crystal. That's tier five. Somewhere in here, there we are, the three tier six. And we're just going to pop all of those as well. Hey, and we form another one. Which one did we form? We formed another cosmic. That gets me six cosmic. Okay, getting close to where I can do a, a, a six star and a seven star rank up and have enough there for it. So we'll hold on there and see what we've got. So here's the big one. Here's a seven star crystal. We've got enough shards. And what we're looking at this time around um, for the seven stars, would love to awaken Domino. Wouldn't mind a Warlock, a Shang-Chi, a Sunspot, a Juggernaut, or awaken Sasquatch. Those are really what I'm looking for out of this. You know, Venom would be kind of a runner-up. I didn't put him in there. Spot would kind of be a runner-up as well. Um, really, 
The win here is anything new. I have been pulling dupes of dupes and dupes of dupes of dupes the past several. Um, I've got two that are SIG 80. Um, really just want something new or a first time dupe. Uh, the last one was a first time dupe with a Gamora. Looking for a little bit better than that this time around. All right, we're going to spin this out and we're going to see what we get. You know, it would be good to have something I could rank up. That's the ultimate goal is a R2 worthy champion that we get out of this crystal. I've got the materials to do it. Would love to do it. All right, let's go ahead and tap it and see what we get. And with this seven star, we are going to be the proud owner of more SIGs on Hulk, which is good for prestige. But I don't need, what is that, 660? 660. I don't need a 660 Hulk. Well, back to the drawing board. We still are going to be looking for those same champions next time around. So, you know, with that, like I said, not the worst pull, not the best. I don't really need a 660 Hulk. The Awakening was all I really was looking for with him. So until the next one comes around, that's going to have to wrap us up for now. So hope everybody has enjoyed their Battlegrounds rewards. Next season starts up on Wednesday. Looking forward to it. Um, and until the next video, take care all.